This video is going to help the player increase the tempo in this simple reel dancing feat. You should have already identified this tune and learnt the tune, but now you're finding it difficult in increasing the tempo. First of all, what you want to do is have a look through the tune and see which phrase or bar is holding back your tempo. In my experience of this tune, it tends to be this last bar. So we'll just highlight the last bar. We're going to increase the tempos uh, with the use of a metronome. This is where metronomes come into their own. So we're going to set the, the beat at 35 BPM, really slow, but we're going to use polyrhythm or, or a pulse beat. Uh, and we're going to set the pulse beat to four, which means that each one of these notes are highlighted within the beat. So it'll, the, the, the polyrhythm or the, the, the metronome will go one A and D, two A and D. And you just want to make sure that each one of your notes is landing right on that polyrhythm, right on that beat. So we're going to, we've set it here at 35 BPM and we're going to play that last bar. So after two, one, two. One, two. One, two. And after you've played it about three times and you're happy with it and everything's going well, you can increase it to the phrase. So we're going to play this phrase now at 35 BPM. Just bounce on the beat. One, two. One, two. Again, once you've done it three times and you're happy with that, then we're going to try the full line. I'm just going to play the line once through, and again we're going to do this three times. 35 BPM. One, two. So you're now happy with this first part at that tempo, uh, that tempo of 35 BPM. So at such a slow tempo, you can probably up this about five beats a minute without it causing you too many problems. So we're going to go up to 40 BPM and we're going to do it again. And we're going to continue to use the polyrhythm. So again, just bounce on the, the tempo. One, two.
you're now happy with that tempo of 40 BPM, you're going to up this to 45. It's very important that you don't go too far ahead of yourself here and that you keep your fingers under control. When you start losing control of your, your finger technique or you're starting to miss embellishments, you want to go back in tempo. So if you find the leap from 40 to 45 is too much, go from 40 to 42. Don't, don't do as big a jump. But we're going to, at, at this slow tempo, you can still probably go five, five beats a minute. So we're going to go for 45 BPM. Again, just bounce on the tempo and get used to it. One, two. So you're comfortably playing the tune at 45 BPM. So we're going to up it now to 50. This is really now starting to pick up in tempo. So we're going to now count it in in four, just to give you a wee bit more time to bounce along on the tempo before you attempt to play the tune. We're still going to use the polyrhythm. So this is 50 BPM. After four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. attempt the first part at 55 BPM. If the leap from 50 to 55 BPM is too much for you, uh, go back to 50 and, and use your own metronome to go up in, in increments of two. So go from the 50 to 52 BPM and try it that way. Um, if that's too much, stay at 50 for a while. Go back to the previous step and stay there for a while until you're comfortable with that tempo. Again, we're going to use the polyrhythm in this one. And uh, we're going to continue to use the polyrhythm until 60 BPM. Uh, and again, we're going to count in on four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to try 60 BPM now. Now it's really starting to get towards the tempo that a reel should be played at. But it's really important that you, you do take your time. And if this is, is beyond you, stay on one of the previous steps until you're comfortable with that tempo. Really important that you don't go too fast for yourself and that your hands always stay under control. So this is 60 BPM, and this is the last time that we're going to use the polyrhythm. So again, after four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
two, three, four. So what we've done here, we've, we've identified all of the beat notes. We're not going to use the polyrhythm anymore. We're going to go from 60 BPM to 62 BPM. If you ensure that these notes, these highlighted notes, which are the beat notes, land right on the beat, the rest of these notes will all fall into place. So we're going to go for the, the first part again. After four, at 62 BPM. One two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, we're going to go from 62 to 64 and we're just going to continue with increments of two beats a minute right the whole way up to about 86 bpm and by that stage it really is starting to take the shape of a reel so this is 64 bpm one two three four Two, three, four. Two, three, four. This is sixty six. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four.
82 BPM. This is really starting to get towards real tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. tempo we're going to go for is 86 bpm and this is the last increase that we're going to have for this exercise now, 86 bpm isn't a bad tempo for a reel reels are really played at about 96 to 106 beats per minute and um, but if you're not experienced in playing at that tempo at real that really is quite fast so 86 is certainly getting towards real real tempo um, but it's really important that you keep your finger technique precise and clear uh, and use your metronome to edge up a few beats a minute at a time, uh, ensuring that you don't sacrifice your finger technique for the sake of tempo. So after four then, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. 